We're reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 4, Chapter 8, Text Number 11.
So Suruchi had spoken very harsh words to this boy, Dhruva Maharaj. Suruchi, to this boy, Dhruva Maharaj, had used a very harsh language to this boy. And she should have been equal to both the boys. She should have been equal to both the boys. She should have thought that because Dhruva is also the son of Uttama. She should also be like a mother to Dhruva Maharaj. Because Dhruva Maharaj is also the son of Uttama. 
的孩子，所以呢，他应该平等的对待这两个孩子，相当于他也是这个孩子的母亲一样。But instead, she is saying, "No, you're not my son, so you shouldn't go near your father." 但是呢，他却这么说，因为你不是我的儿子，所以你不能坐在你父亲的腿上。So to speak such harsh words to a little boy is not very good. 对于一个小男孩说这么尖刻的话语，不是特别好的一件事情。Because the little boy is going to remember that for the rest of his life. 因为对于一个小男孩来说，在他剩下的这一天，他会永远记住你对他说的这些很尖刻的话语。Right, they remember these kind of things, these kind of remarks, which are painful to us. We will remember them through our life. 他会。呃，他会一生记住你这么尖刻的对待他。So, in the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna describes austerity in the mode of goodness. 在佛家梵歌，呃，主 Krishna 讲过，呃，在苦行之中，我们应该怀有善良心才能苦行。And there is austerity of the body. Austerity of the mind and austerity of words. We have this spiritual austerity, physical austerity, and work austerity, and even words austerity. Austerity of words in the mode of goodness is to speak words which are pleasing. Austerity of words in the mode of goodness is to speak words which are pleasing. And at the same time, truthful. At the same time, truthful. It is, there's a Sanskrit saying, Satyam Bruyat, Priyam Bruyat, that we should speak the truth and at the same time make it pleasing. But we see this woman, Suruchi, is influenced by her pride. We see this woman, Suruchi, is influenced by her pride. Pride is one of the qualities of a demon. Right? In the Bhagavad Gita, chapter 16, we read about the divine and demoniac qualities. The demonic quality are things like pride and anger and envy. So, one of the principles of rule, it is said that the, the symbol of religious principles is a male, is a bull, and a bull stands on four legs. 宗教被描述为公牛。公牛呢有四条腿 ，and the four legs represent satyam, sojam, daya, tapa. Satyam truthfulness, sojam cleanliness, daya mercy, and tapa austerity. 嗯，宗教有四条腿，宗教原则，第一个是清洁、仁慈、苦行、真诚。And austerity is destroyed by Right. Some, we often see people that they're very proud. They won't do any austerity. Just like we ask people sometimes that when you give people vegetarian food, sometimes people say, where's the meat? Why no meat? 有一些时候，我们给人一些呃素食的这个食物，他会说：“肉在哪？肉在哪？为什么没有肉？” The devotees one time in in the Philippines they put on a concert and they invited this famous singer to come and do a a, a benefit performance, a charity performance. 嗯，有一次奉献者呃。在这个菲律宾的时候，他们呃邀邀邀请一个邀请参加一个音乐会。
表演一个非常有名的一个音乐会，一个歌手，呃，一个歌手。So, uh, so when she came to sing, the devotees thought uh, they wanted to get they brought a big plate of maha prasadam for her. Uh, 当她唱诵的时候呢，奉献者就唱唱歌的时候，奉献者呢就是给她准备了一一一一个非常大的玛哈布沙的。But she said, "What is this? There's no meat. You want me to eat this? Just vegetables and rice." 然后这个父亲，这这个歌手呢，就说：“这个是什么？没有这个肉，怎么能吃呢？”嗯，就不要，不能忘记。非常的骄傲，不想吃这个东西。Sometimes people come to the temple, and they, they, they don't want, they can't sit, they won't sit on the floor. Yeah, I'm not gonna sit on the floor. 有些人他到庙宇之后，呃，让他坐在地上，他说：“我才不坐在地上。” And people sometimes they don't like. You ask them if you ask them to bow down, they won't bow down. 有些人你让他去顶拜，他也不愿意顶拜。You're very proud. 非常的骄傲。So this pride, this is one of the demonic qualities which stops people from doing any austerity. 所以骄傲，它阻止了一个人从事这个宗教活动中的这个苦行。So people in the mode of passion and ignorance, they have these kind of qualities. 一个人在激情或者愚昧形态下，他容易产生这样的品质。And when you're in the mode of passion, and then you have a lot of desires, you easily get angry and quarrel with other people. 如果一个人非常处在激情形态，他容易有很多的物质愿望，然后呢？他也容易和别人吵架。This this age is called the age of calm. It's the age of quarrel. People like to argue and fight with each other. 这个年代被称为卡利年代。卡利年代就是人们愿意争斗，总是不停的和别人进行争斗。And they will argue and fight about very small things, little little things. 仅仅为一个小事情，他们就会争吵起来。And sometimes the, the people, the, the, they're, they're, they have practically no wealth at all, but they have even, they have just maybe one, one yuan, one yuan, you know, it's practically nothing, can't buy hardly anything, but they're very proud, this is mine, this is my money. 有些时候他们为一个硬币，甚至是一块钱的这个硬币，他们就说，这个是我的钱，这个是我的钱。We're thinking, whatever little amount of wealth we have is so great. 我们认为那么一丁点的这个钱都是很伟大的钱，甚至是我们的钱。So important for us to cultivate humility and to give up this pride. 所以对于我们来说，应该呃培养谦卑。And you can see, of course, somebody like Suruchi. Very difficult for her to be humble. 但是呢，对于像苏鲁西这样的人来讲，谦卑是一个非常容不容易的事情。Because she's she's married to a king, she's a queen, so she has a big position. 因为她嫁给了一个国王，她是一个皇后，所以呢，在这样的一个地位上，她很难谦卑下来。She will be thinking, "Don't you know who I am?" 她会，她会想。你不知道我是谁吗 ？She's thinking, I'm the queen, I'm the husband, I'm the queen of the king, I'm the wife of the king. 我是国王的皇后，我是皇后。But there are so many kings. Which king? 但是这个世界上有那么多的国王，你是哪一个皇后 ？What kind of king? 哪一个哪一个皇后 ？What kind What kind of queen are you? 你是哪一个王皇后 ？How long are you going to be queen? 你当了皇后多什么时间 ？Where do you, do you think in the next life you will be queen also? 你认为你下一次还可能成为皇后吗 ？So, out of pride, pride, we say there's a saying. We say pride comes before the fall. When people are very proud, then the next thing is 
after that they fall down into ignorance。当一个人变得很骄傲的时候，他马上就会堕落到愚昧的这个属性。And that fall into ignorance puts them into the hellish condition of life。堕落到愚昧属性之后，下一次可能会进入到一个地狱般的生活。so it's important for us to practice trying to speak words which are truthful and also pleasing. So Prabhupada was very expert at doing this. There was one kind one time he went to give a lecture to many businessmen in I think it was in Bombay or Calcutta, I can't remember. But it was a big society like a Lions Club or a Rotary Club. Mm. And all of these people, they were all big philanthropists, they were successful businessmen with a lot of money. 所有的这些人呢，都是生意上非常成功的人，他们账户上有很多钱。And they join this kind of club and they do welfare work to try to help less fortunate people。嗯，他们有这么多钱加入这个俱乐部，都想从事一些福利性的工作，以便下一世有好的机遇。So Prabhupada gave a lecture to them and he was lecturing to them how. People are like hogs, dogs, camels, and asses. Hogs. Hog means pigs. Hogs, dogs, camels. Camels. Asses. Asses. Lu,鱼子啊，鱼子。嗯，asses，like a donkey，like that。Yeah。So there's a verse in the Bhagavatam。所以在圣典国家晚会有这么一个世界。It says that people who are like these four kinds of animals—people in the society today are like a hog, d
。这个骆驼呢，它喜欢吃荆棘，就是长满刺的东西。Right, and when it eats the thorns, then the thorn cuts the tongue. 当这个荆棘刺的它舌头上满是鲜血的时候 ，I mean, tastes the blood from his tongue, and the camel thinks, "Oh, very nice." 当这个鲜血从嘴里流出来，他品尝着自己的鲜血的时候，他觉得非常的美味。He thinks, "Oh, these thorns are so good, very tasty." 他认为这个荆棘既然这么的美味，这么的好吃。He's tasting the blood, his own blood. 但是事实上，他品尝的是他自己嘴里流出的鲜血。So the same way materialistic people do these kind of things. 所以呢，相同的，物质世界的这些人，物质概念的这些人，他们同样也是在品尝着自己。They they engage in horrible sinful activities. 他们从事着非常罪恶的活动。And they're tasting their own blood. 他们在品尝着自己的鲜血。And they're thinking, oh, very nice. 他们还这么认为，这非常好。And the tongue is all cut to pieces. 他的这个舌头呢，已经被切成了一一半一半。And then as is, the ass is a beast of burden, carries a heavy weight. 这个驴子呢，它总是背负着很重的东西。And at the end of the day, when he carries a heavy weight, he approaches the female ass to have union, and he gets kicked in the face by the female ass. 当他工作了一天，非常辛苦的回去之后，想要跟这个呃雌性的这个女子进行交配的时候，他又被那个雌性的女子踢了满脸伤痕。And so Prabhupada was describing these four animals to people, to all these men. And all these businessmen, big, big, big businessmen, they were sitting, they were going, ah, 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 ah. So, 然后呢，这些生意人呢，非常成功的生意人呢，听的这些乐呵呵的，就在笑。And after Prabhupada finished, then they all clapped. Swami Ji, you have spoken very nice. 然后呢，呃，这个在结束之后呢，这些生意人鼓掌。为这个帕帕说，帕帕帕 ，Swamiji， 你讲的太好了。And they congratulated him. They were so happy. 呃，祝贺他，而且非常开心。And Prabhupada came off and he came away and he sat down with the devotees. And afterwards, he said, "You see, I call them all hogs, dogs, camels, and asses, and they have a, they have applauded, they have praised me." <笑>你看见了吗？他就是爸爸的这对奉献者说：“你看见了吗？我告诉他们，你们是这个驴子、狗、猪，还有这些骆驼，他们既然鼓掌欢迎我。” So he said, "This is you can see this is austerity of speech to speak the truth and to make it pleasing." 啊，这就是讲话又要讲真话，但是呢，又要取悦他人。But sometimes, sometimes the devotees we were not able to do that. 有些时候我们奉献者并不是能容易做到这一点。Just like one time in the Back to Godhead magazine, 有一次在这个回家呃回归首神的杂志上 ，they published a section from the Chaitanya Charitamrita. 他们呃截取了一段来自于 Chaitanya Charitamrita 的。And the section described a, an incident which took place in Jagannath Puri between Lord Chaitanya and another man, another devotee. 描述了这个主柴呃，在柴檀在加格纳的普里的时候，主柴檀亚和另外一个奉献者的故事。There was another there was another devotee who was coming to Jagannath Puri who was also a, a friend of Lord Chaitanya, and his name was. Balaba, 呃，这个叫巴拉巴的这个奉献者呢，也是主柴檀店的一个朋友，他也从呃其他的地方到了加格纳普里。So this Balaba, he had written a commentary. He had written some commentary on Srimad Bhagavatam. 他曾经写了一些关于圣典佛教法坛的评注。And he wanted 
he, he was telling people, my commentary is better than the commentary of Sri Darshwam. Sri Darshwami was the original, he was the first person to write commentary on Srimad Bhagavatam. So when Lord Chaitanya heard, this, heard these words from Balaba, he said that one who thinks he can, he said that one one should be one should be chased to the previous acharyas. 一个人呢，呃，主禅他讲听到这段话之后，他就说，一个人对于先辈的迷信导师应该呃谦卑或真真解。Nobody should think they can do better than the previous Acharyas. He said that is like a, a, a wife who is unfaithful to her husband. So Sridhar Swami is often called the Swami, the commentary of the Swami. When we talk about Sri Swami, we just say Swami's commentary. But Swami means also husband. So Lord Chaitanya was saying that, you know, Swami, Sri Swami, he is like our husband. We should be chased to him. We should not think we can do better than him. So in this way, Lord Chaitanya created Balava Acharya. So in this way, Lord Chaitanya created Balava Acharya. Some, what happened was some other people, some people in India, who were devotees of this Balaba, they got the bank to go take money. This, this Balaba, you see, after he had been with Lord Chaitanya, he left Jagannath Puri and he went to another place and he made his own society. And he took initiation in another line, in another Sampradaya. And they still have followers today. And so his followers read the back to Godhead and they did not like it. And it happened that when Prabhupada wanted to go to America, he approached one elderly Indian lady. He approached this wealthy Indian lady who had a shipping company. And so Prabhupada asked her if she could help him to go to America. So she had arranged Prabhupada to go on one of her ships to New York. To Boston, right? To Boston. She went. So that lady who gave Prabhupada the, the, the passage on the ship, 
She was a follower of this Malaba. So the people who got the back to Godhead, they went to that lady. And they said, they said to her, look at this. You sent this man to America. And look, look what he's teaching about our Guru. So she wrote to Prabhupada about this. She said, why is it? Why do you do like this? So she was a, a, a Vaishnava. She was a devote, very devoted lady of Lord Krishna. But no, not Chung Bai Ju Chi Tani the function. Tashi Chung Bai Balava the function. Tashi Chung Bai Balava the function. She was the, in the, the line coming from Balava. But they were still devotees of Krishna. Tashi Balava the function, Tashi Tanya is Krishna the function. Lord Chaitanya is not the only line which teaches devotion to Krishna. So she was following Balabhacharya. And she asked Prabhupada, why we have, why we have printed such unpleasant things in our magazine about Guru. So Prabhupada wrote back to her and said, and you have to forgive my disciples. They have not learned how to speak the truth in a pleasing manner. But he, then he went on to explain to her that when Lord Chaitanya said like this to Balabha, he said it was said in a joking way. And Lord Chaitanya and Balaba were friends. So it was not said in a manner to hurt Balaba. Anyway, it's an important point for us to remember that when we speak, we want to try to speak words which are truthful and at the same time pleasing. So Sometimes Prabhupada would speak very strongly to people. But Prabhupada would tell us, he said, I can speak like this, but you cannot. So I'm so much senior in age than you. you know, we were very young, you know, we were in our twenties and Prabhupada was 70, 80. Uh, 在那个时候呢，我们这些年轻的人，大概才二十岁，啪啪呢有七十岁。So because Prabhupada was so much elderly and senior, people would respect him and he could speak strongly。因为呢，啪啪非常的严长，他可以很严厉的说话，人们依然很尊敬他。But we cannot imitate him，所以我们不能去模仿他。So we have to try to cultivate this. The quality to try to speak the word, words nicely to encourage people to also take up Krishna consciousness. If we just criticize people, oh, you're so proud, you're so puffed up, you're so arrogant, you nonsense, you fool, you know, then people will get put off a little bit if you speak too hard to them. 
，如果我们说，如果我们非常骄傲地说“你又愚蠢，什么都不是”等等这样非常恶俗的话语，别人不会搭理你的。So Suruchi, she spoke like this harsh words to a little boy. 所以 Suruchi 呢，对这个小男孩说了非常严厉的话。And little children are very sensitive. 这个小男孩非常敏感。So Druva took these words, these harsh words of his mother. To his heart. Zhuang Mahārāji 呢，就跟他呢，呃，就跟他的母亲说了这一段，回，回，回报了这一段话语给他的这个苏如启跟他说了这个严厉的话语。OK, any question? 大家有问题吗 ？Any comment? 有评述吗 ？Do you speak harsh words to people? 你们也说非常严厉的话语对其他人吗 ？Yeah, you do, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See, the words of a woman are like a razor, can cut your heart to pieces. 呃，这个女人的这个嘴啊，有时候像裁缝一样，可以裁掉你的心一片一片的。Women are expert to speak harsh. 女人呢，非常擅长说这些尖利的话语。Maharaj, for this person, uh, uh, speak these hot uh, words. Uh, what your recommendation? Well, what is my recommendation yeah. for people who speak harsh? Uh, 就是这个帕布想问马哈拉，想问马哈拉吉。您的建议是什么？如果说了一些非常严厉的话语 ，That's a very good point, right? What is the solution to this? 那么解决办法是什么呢？这是一个非常好的观点。So it's also mentioned that austerity of speech is also to recite the scriptures, recite the Vedas. 嗯，所以呢，为了解决这一点，我们应该不断的去反复重复经典的话语。So this is this will help a lot to to if we recite more, read the scriptures and recite prayers and recite mantras and keep our tongue always busy in chanting. 让我们的这个舌头总是在忙碌唱诵，比如说我们重复经典的话语，重复那些祈祷的话语，重复那些祷文等等。Sometimes you're angry at someone and you want to say something nasty to them. 有些时候你非常生气。When you want to say something nasty to someone, nasty, nasty, yeah, 不好啊，要你要你你想讲不好的话给他们听。你非常生气，然后想讲一些不好的话语给他们。So what should you do? 那你应该怎么办 ？Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare. 你就大声的念诵。Better to chant Hare Krishna. 最好唱诵 Hare Krishna. Because you say something bad to them, they will say something bad to you. 因为你给他们讲一些不好的话语，他还会反击给你这些不好的话语。And we'll go on then. 最后发展为两个人就开始打架吵架了。You won't get any good result. 你不会有任何好的结果。But if we just chant Hare Krishna. In the in the Christian Bible, they talk about if somebody hits you on one side of the face, you should turn the face the other. When this body has such a word, if someone hits you one side of the face, you should turn the face the other. But this is the other side. You turn the other side. Tolerate, in other words, we have to become tolerant. How tolerant? We should be tolerant like the tree. Just like the tree is tolerating the wind and the rain and the heat. But still giving flowers and giving shelter. 但是呢，他总是给予人们庇护以及呃庇荫乘凉的地方。So trees are so they're so kind, they're so compassionate. 
，他也给予庇护，还给出花，所以呢，他非常仁慈。So we have to be tolerant like the tree. 我们要像树一样宽容。And offer our respect to others. 然后呢，尊敬所有人。Not to be anxious. 不要总是很焦虑。Be respect. 尊敬他人。So this is recommended. 这是，这是，这是建议。This will help us to overcome pride. 这会帮助我们去除骄傲。Okay, next door. Next door. Okay. Any question? Any other question? Because she also have two sons, uh, she 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 said that even don't have solution for the king is uh, maybe also very difficult to equal to the two sons for her experience. How to equal to the two sons? How to be equal to the two sons? Yeah. Well, give them the just like you know. In Dhruva Maharaj's case, he simply wanted to sit on the father's lap. So, in a, 对于这个故事来讲，这个诸王哈拉吉仅仅只是想坐在他父亲的腿上。Just like I saw in Shenzhen, in Shenzhen there's one devotee, one devotee couple. They got twins. 在深圳呢，有一个奉献者，他们有一个双胞胎。龙凤，龙凤胎。So we pick up one, the other one cries. Ah, 你把一个小孩抱起来，另外一个小孩哭了。We got to pick both of them. 你应该把两个小孩都抱起来。And so someone pick to get bigger. As it get bigger, it's hard to carry both. 但是呢，当他们两个都长大一点的时候，如果把他们两个都抱起来是很困难的。So mama, don't be eager. Papa, don't be eager. So my mother carries one, the father carries one. So my mother carries one, the father carries one. So my mother carries one, the father carries one. So my mother carries one, the father carries one. So my mother carries one, the father carries one. So my mother carries one, the father carries one. So my mother carries one, the father carries one. So my mother carries one, the father carries one. You have to try to encourage both of them. You 应该总是鼓励这两个小孩，同时鼓励他们。Of course, one child may be better behaved, better qualities, and you know, so you find an easier to deal with than the other child. 或许有一个小孩，他的品质比另外一个小孩要好一些，要更容易相处一些。So you have to be very careful. How to deal with, how to encourage this other child to develop the better qualities. So, you know, you should also be very careful to encourage the other child to develop the better qualities. So, you know, you should also be very careful to encourage the other child to develop the better qualities. So, you know, you should also be very careful to encourage the other child to develop the better qualities. So, you know, you should also be very careful to encourage the other child to develop the better qualities. So, you know, you should also be very careful to encourage the other child to develop they fight with each other. <laughs> Sometimes you have to separate them. Send one away to your grand to your mother's house or something. Maharaj, okay, you, you say the solution with the read the Vedas and the last you say is Chandi Hare Krishna. You say like that, the solution. I like this solution because Prabhupada also said like that. But in this time, the devotees, not to put in the devotees' time, I saw in different countries, the devotees uh, 
sometimes not chanting properly the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. For example, in Bengal, the devotees say, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, 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 Hare Hare. In another country, it's also not chanting properly, like in China, say, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, something like that. In another country, in, in South America, also say different mantras. Uh, but we understand this is the, this is no original mantra, no? Because you can explain to me what the original mantra, Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, from Prabhupada, from the uh, uh, Guru Parampara. Because I go different place and, and, and I am coming like very, uh, uh, no understanding this point. But what Prabhupada say, why Bhakti Siddhanta say, what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu say, you can explain to me the story, Maharaj, please, exactly the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Because if you're you not chanting the original Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, we cannot keep the real true and, and we no benefit because we're making some mistake. This is one idea. Please, Maharaj, is possible you can explain this point? So he's asking, but because people pronounce the Maha Mantra differently, yeah. so he says, the, how, the, how, how can they get benefit? Well, Lord Chaitanya said there are no rules in chanting this Hare Krishna mantra. Lord Chaitanya and Krishna are not going to test our pronunciation. They want to see how much devotion we have. How much we are attached to Krishna. So that's the important. Our devotion is a qualification, not our pronunciation. So of course different parts of the world, different people pronounce differently. But it's not an, that's not the problem. And the problem is if we have no taste for chanting. We have an attraction for service to Krishna, to serve Krishna, that's the main thing. Krishna is attracted by loving devotion. He's not attracted just by the Brahmanas reciting their mantras. He's attracted by Mother Yashoda and the Kaman women. The coward women in Vrindavan, they don't know the pronunciation. How we can have the love devotion? How the, the love devotion, if no interest for the pronunciation of the Maha Mantra, you say the basic love devotion. How we can understand the love devotion? How is the, the process, the system, for how this love devotion to Krishna? How do we get this love and devotion for Krishna? By association, by hearing and chanting. Just by engaging in devotional activities, you get devotion. 
，只是从事这种不同的奉献服务，你就会得到奉爱。Hear about Krishna, chant the holy name. 聆听 Krishna， 然后唱诵他的名字。You come and see the deities. We bow down before the deity. 去见神像，在神像面前敬拜。We eat prasada. 吃 Krishna 的 prasada. We get devotion. 然后就得到奉爱。You do these activities properly, you get devotion. 如果你恰当的做这些事情，你就会得到奉爱。Not very difficult, right? 不是很难，对不对 ？Krishna says, "Man mana bhava man bhato man dhyanti mam namaskaru." Engage your mind in thinking of me. Become my devotee. Worship me. Offer obeisances to me. In this way, you will come to me. I promise you. Krishna 说，时刻想着我，成为我的奉献者，顶拜我，如此你必能到达我。我向你做出承诺。Okay. Any other question? 好了吗？还有别的问题 ？Yes. 人家说，其实斯瓦米有丈夫的这个意思。然后昨天讲课就讲到说，妻子不应该在家里直呼丈夫的名字。那我们作为奉献者的话，我们怎么来称呼我们的丈夫？如果丈夫是奉献者，我们怎么称呼？我们也称他阿布基、斯瓦米，或者是叫灵性名字。<laughs> yeah, how to address her husband? Because yesterday I said Chase wife shouldn't say the name of her husband. Sita never uttered the name of Lord Brahm. So a Chase wife does not say the name of her husband. So how does she address her husband? She should say, My Prabhu. My Chinana Prabhu. Or my Swami. Or the Swami. Prabhu, yeah, very simple. If you say my Prabhu, everybody knows who you be. Ruguniyajishakiriyajamusho,my <laughs> 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 Yes, why why don't don't say the name because you know you say the name it's like addressing the dog. Come here, you know, do it like it. 为什么我们不要直呼其名呢？有些时候呼那个狗的时候也是这样的，喊那个狗的名字，然后就过来了。The husband does not like the dog. 这个丈夫不是一条狗。Right. It should be nice relationship between husband and wife. 一个丈夫和妻子应该有很好的关系，是 respect each other， 应该相互尊重。OK， 还有个什么？还有一个什么？呀，呀，马拉斯基，阿雷克斯。